Yeah, so that's one of the benefits about being able to have the nice hash exchange is that you know users can actually mine and they can exchange right there all inside of the nice hash network. Um, we recently saw that Dash was the number one cryptocurrency in Venezuela, um, so which is quite an achievement, um, especially since Venezuela has its own cryptocurrency. Um, you know, what did you do in order to be able to to kind of have that market presence there? And we know that you know Dash is really heavily uh, marketed in the U.S., South America, and a little bit in Africa as well. Um, what are the goals for Dash to be able to kind of expand into Europe and 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 the Asia markets as well? Okay, well, I'll first talk about Venezuela. So how, how did we achieve that? Well, we have local teams and community working uh, with merchants there. At the same time, as I said before, our transaction fees are, you know, very, very low. And when transactions in Venezuela are already quite low, you don't want to be paying, uh, you know, I don't know, 10% just towards transaction fees. That, that doesn't make sense for an everyday, everyday user. So it kind of goes hand in hand that you, you know, uh, these places would go towards a solution that um, is beneficial for them in terms of uh, the transaction cost. We also uh, found out that, you know, it's not just enough to have a good product. You also have to support that product. So uh, through our community, we have local help desks in Venezuela, and we also have a help desk um, for, for Dash Core Group, and we that's available in Spanish. So, you know, it's very helpful with adoption because we respond to hundreds, I'm not sure exactly how many questions, but hundreds, if not thousands of questions, uh, you know, per, per month. And then, and in, at least in Venezuela, are you seeing, are you seeing people utilize things like mobile wallets and stuff like that to do transactions? Or are you seeing a lot more of those transactions happening from a desktop perspective, say if they were buying things over the web? No, I, from their computer? no actually mobile wallets. Um, right now it's not the case, but earlier, I think, actually I think last year, we had more uh, Android downloads in Venezuela than the entire of the rest of the world combined. <laughs> Well, <laughs> which yeah, I, was, I was thinking that like, you know? <laughs> like people can use it directly in marketplaces or, or things like this it's much easier for them yeah we we had uh i mean we we have a lot of places in venezuela that accept dash uh and it you know it just works <laughs> Having that team locally in Venezuela or in other areas, you know, that that infrastructure takes time. It takes resources in order to build up um, and things of that nature. How was the local merchant community, how were they accepting of the idea of being able to utilize something like Dash as opposed to the local currency? And, and did you have any limitations or pushback from the government as far as because a lot of times governments, you know, having that control over the currency is one of their you know main things to making sure they stay in power or they have order. So uh, were you getting any pushback or anything from governments uh, you know, by replacing them from the ability to transfer value from one person to another? So this is actually not really my domain <laughs> of expertise. <laughs> um, I'm very technical, uh, but I'll do my best to answer. Yep. Um, sure. they, there hasn't been much pushback uh, because... You know, in the end, I think, um, you know, th there, are, there are some problems with the economy in Venezuela, you know, uh, rampant inflation, um, you know, you, they can't really use their own currency to, uh, to make payments. So I, I don't actually, I, I don't know for sure about pushback from, from high ups in the government, but uh, I think that just having users use it, um, it's, it's hard to go against that for, from their, probably from their perspective. And they probably have, um, let's say, bigger fish to fry. I was about to say, yeah, they probably have bigger things to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 